And in this situation, it's really close. Codex, pay your boy real quick. Boom, baby. Yo gang, what's happening? It's your boy BZ here today and I've got a brand new video coming for y'all. And this video is one that I've been looking to make for a long time. I mean, personally, I've been on YouTube for a minute and I've seen a lot of different videos about, you know, trading and whatnot. But I haven't seen a video that really shows you guys how to use all of these indicators, especially Bollinger Bands, which is a video that this is gonna be about. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use not only the Bollinger Bands, but how to combine it with trend indicators and volatility indicators to make sure that everything works out. So, but before we get into the video, I want to tell you guys about my free Telegram channel where you can get up to four signals absolutely free. And if you want even more signals, I'm talking about 10 FREE -E free signals that you can get, all you gotta do, Check the links in the description or in the pinned comment. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. So as you all know, we start trading right now. And usually what we'll start with is with our time. We already have it on one minute since we're gonna be doing one minute trade. There's no need to touch that. We're starting with $500. We have our 600 in our account. And what we're gonna do is add our indicators. So first indicator we're gonna do, I think it's, let's go Bollinger Bands. Yes, that's a good, that's a very good indicator because you can easily at once, you know, define not only a little bit of uh, momentum, but you can also do uh overbought and oversold with that indicator i think I'll, for my trend i think i'll use adx which is just smooth into seven uh keep the d length let's just keep it a seven as well that's that's great okay and we need one more to kind of balance we need something that's going to show us more um, more overbought and oversold conditions so let's go with stochastic oxalator all right so we're done here so what we got to do is add our currency pairs even though we have some already on the screen uh, most of them are already on the screen uh, i guess i already added them before but hey we've seen some high payout we can see 89 percent is the highest so just looking at the chart on some of these some of them look weird this this is looking crazy uh, oh, this, this, what the? Gee, well, let me look at it in 15 minutes. All right, it's crazy. All right, so we'll look at, you know, try to make some, try to make something out of nothing because all of these charts are looking kind of ass. But what we're going to do is we're going to take a minute, we're going to analyze the market, and we'll start trading right away. So as you can see, I'm still here on Swiss francs and Japanese yen, but I think I'm gonna go USD Swiss francs. So uh, as I said before, Bollinger Bands, it's good because we have three bands, right? We have the upper band, we have the middle band, and we have the lower band. And right now, usually what we're looking for, like there's usually three strategies I like to use with Bollinger Bands. First is I want to look at the support and resistance because with the Bollinger Bands, we can see easily because we have the upper band and you can see where the support is and you can see with the lower band where the resistance is. And now if we can find some, I'm gonna change this to one minute. If we can find uh, some pattern, whether it goes a little bit above, whether it's the candle, it goes a little bit above the upper band or it goes a little bit lower than the, than the upper, then the lower band, okay? Sorry for my mishap, but uh, let's look. Okay, this is looking hella crazy too. So right now, what we can see is like, I can see that there's a squeeze here, right? And one another thing is like, if you're not familiar with this, uh, with the Bollinger Bands, you might not know exactly what I'm talking about. I will make sure that I make a video where I'm explaining every single like strategy that you can use with every indicator. But here you can see a squeeze. And once you see a squeeze like this, it means that we are in an upward uh, momentum. And now what you want to do is confirm with the st st stochastic oscillator, very difficult to pronounce, but we do it anyways. So here we can see, if we move our candles to 10 seconds, we can see that yes, we are out of the money. Uh, but 
here we can see a squeeze which shows us that we are going to be in the money at some point. Uh, so here we're working on it to get in the money. So don't be, don't be like scared if you're not in the money right away. You still have time, you know, just stick it out, watch how things go and everything will be good. We can see the squeeze right here, right here in the market. You can see the squeeze so we know that it's going to be positive and you have to stick through it because it's, you know, you have to make sure that you don't let your emotions take over you. It's very important. And now we're in the money. We're seven, six, four seconds away from getting out. Winning. Boom, baby. Easy. We're one for one. $945 made. But we can't stop here. We got to keep going. So first uh, in our first trade, what we looked at was the squeeze strategy. Right now, what we're going to, what, I'm, what I want you guys to pay attention on is finding your support and resistance levels using uh, Bollinger Bands. It's very easy. And now what we're looking for is, we want to go to as much time as we can see. So for example, let's go to four hour bands. I mean bands, four hour candles. And here what we want to look at is Support and resistance here, we can see support, right? You see them bounce off and down and up and down and up and down. So now, right now, when we go to the one minute candles, what we're gonna see is, check, we see we're in downward situation, but here, what, what do we see? We see, what's, what's this, a squeeze. And after a squeeze, what happens? We go upwards after a squeeze. So we'll enter that trade right there. And I think that we're gonna see a reversal here for sure. As you can see, the, just, just where we entered the trade was right in the moment that we exactly needed to. Why? Because we can see two in off of the two of this right here and right here. They both hit off the lower bands. And that's showing us that there's going to be, there's a price volatility that's going to change. And we're going to see a potential what? Reversal. And I think that we entered at a good point because we were right almost at the reversal point. We're in a good trade, we're in the money, we're like 20 seconds away from winning. And if we look at Stagasca Salida and ADX, clearly showing us that there is an upward momentum, at least maybe not up to a point where it's a straight up momentum, but we can see, right? We are in the money, seven seconds away from winning. Codex, pay your boy real quick, pay your boy real quick, pay your boy. Boom, that's 1,900. We just made, and y'all just saw that. Everything just happened right in front of y'all. So, but we can't stop here. We just made two grand. Maybe we'll do a little more, maybe we'll do a little more. I can see some, I can see some good things happening. I can see some good things happening. So stay tuned, stay tuned. So we are back and let's look at some potential okay this looks crazy i think let's go japanese yen swiss francs okay so here what can we see immediately what can we see immediately we can see right here okay we can see it bounce off middle off middle right now we can see it going a little bit up but we i think it's gonna bounce right off the middle again so here we'll call downward momentum let's double it even that's, that's how I'm feeling. I'm feeling very good about this. We can see bounce off the middle, bounce off the middle band, bounces off the middle band, uh, bounce off the middle band again. So this is a trend that has repeated itself. And when you look here, we can also see that we're going downward. So this is a great trade in my opinion. And if you look at it, and what do I always say? Don't overthink it. Follow what the candles are trying to tell you. If they're telling you downwards, they're telling you downwards, and the indicators are telling you downwards. If you see a pattern, that's what technical analysis is about, you know? It's about finding the patterns. And sometimes, a lot of people will say, you know, humans, we love to find p patterns in everything. Sometimes they might not be there. But, you know, hey, this works for me, and it's never let me down. And when I, you know, just follow it through, don't give in to emotions or nothing, I end up winning. And in this situation, it's really close. Boom! Oh, okay, we're second one. Waiting for the second trade. Boom! Both of them. Oh my God, it's crazy. We won both trades. We didn't lose any of the trades. Oh my God. Okay. 
Okay, but we can't stop now, so we gotta keep going. Last trade was a little bit of a roller coaster, but you know, you have to follow your. Okay, right now we see a squeeze, which means we're going higher. So let's just follow the trend here, double it up. See, we see a squeeze right here. Not a big squeeze, it's a little squeeze. But usually after a squeeze with the Bollinger Band, it means that we're going to see an upward momentum. And as we can see here, confirmed by Stochastic Oscillator right here. And we can see that being confirmed here by ADX, our trend indicator. So in this case, we're about 30 seconds away from taking our money. And it's sure that we're clearly going up. So this is an easy win for us in this situation. But... One thing that I want you guys to keep in mind is that uh, a lot of people will be asking about what are your settings for Bollinger Bands? What are your settings for this or that? You just have to find what's comfortable for you guys. Uh, there is no one setting that works for all. It's not, a, it's not magic. All of these indicators are not magic. It's not magic. They're not going to magically make you money. Uh, as you can see now, we've seen a little bit of downward pressure that, you know, was a little scary right now, but we're three seconds away from making our money. And yeah, 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 let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. That's crazy. Okay, we're up 5K. Uh, crazy, 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 crazy trades happen today, but I think that that's where we'll stop the trading for today. Really, honestly, I feel like this is a good enough. So that was one hell of a ride. I'm happy you guys stuck with me till this point. So you saw the last crazy two trades that we did and how we're able to like snipe and like get our money as quickly as possible. So I'm glad, I hope that you guys are able to take this and be able to replicate this. I want to see your reactions in the comments. So comment, uh, uh, like the video, subscribe, and don't forget that I have a free Telegram channel with signals. Links will be in the, I think, pinned comment or in the description. But also, I have a VIP channel. You can join. It's absolutely free. All you have to do is write me. Links are in the description or in the pinned tweet. Thank you guys for watching the video to this point. BZ out. Much more coming. Thank you guys. Goodbye.